In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a subregion and also how to add in your parking lot. So real quick, I'm going to jump into 3D view. Uh, so what we have here is our topography. Uh, we did a, a pad, a site pad here for my building. And in order to do your parking lot or to create a subregion, make sure you're in site plan. And then under massing and site, you're going to click subregion. What this does is basically it creates a new area or a certain section on top of your topography. So let's say if you had curves or angles and stuff like that, your subregion is going to follow that same angle or curve. So I'm going to create my parking lot. So I'm going to use my line tool here and I'm going to create an entrance up here at the top. Then just kind of create a, a box here to represent my parking lot. Here's going to be another entrance into my property. This certainly isn't fancy, but it'll work for this example. And then, of course, enclose it. And if I hit the green check mark right now, what would happen is my subregion would encompass my building. So what I need to do is using my rectangle tool, I need to outline my building so that way the subregion skips my building itself because this is the border and anytime you put a shape on the inside it's going to cut out that shape so I'm going to hit the green check mark it shows errors cannot intersect lines cannot intersect each other okay so I need to go up here and check and make sure all of them are connected here's my issue so I will use the uh, trim tool there we go now it should be okay green check mark good someone jump to my 3d view and visually here I can see these new lines appear this is my subregion and it highlights in blue so I'm going to select it it should show just the region that you want and then over here in your properties in their material you can change what you want it to be so just for um, kicks and giggles I'm going to change it to brick just so it kind of looks cool so I'm going to click OK um, it says about surface patterns that's fine I'm going to click OK so, so now I have a new material change to that particular subregion. Of course, yours would probably be asphalt, concrete, something like that. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is how to do parking components. So in order to add in your parking lot components, you're going to do parking component. Make sure you're on site plan. And oh, here, click on it again. Over here in your properties, you will have your options. Um, I already loaded in the parking space, but if you want other things, you're going to go to Load Family, and then you're going to go to Site, so double click on Site, this is where you find parking, and then here you're going to see a bunch of different options, you have some arrows, you have your symbol for handicap, you have your general parking space, you have ADA parking space here as well, just a general pavement stripe, some islands that you could add in as well, but go ahead, click on parking space click open. I already have mine loaded so I'm going to hit cancel. And all I want to do is I'm going to add in some parking spaces along the top here. So I'm going to line it up with my wall. I'm going to click. And there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a linear um, array. But you can just go and click each time. I'm going to delete it. Um, as you go along, click and add in your parking spots. Um, so that's one way to do it. Also, if you want to, you can use the copy tool. So if you select one of your parking spaces, use your copy tool, select the right corner, go over and type in nine feet. It will paste a new one. So if you grab multiple, if you do the math, so we have one, two, three, four. So we're looking at 36 feet. I can copy it, move it 36 feet, enter and now I added in more. One other way is using a linear array. So I'm going to add one of the parking spots here and I'm going to rotate it so that way it's the angle in which I want. I'm going to move it over here. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to do is a linear array. So I'm going to select my parking spot and then right here, this is four squares, it's called an array. Um, so with a little bit of math, 
you can figure out how many parking spots you need. I'm not going to do the math right now, but I'm going to say I think it's 13 spots. So I'm going to type in 13, and then right here it says linear. Select linear, and of course, let me change that back to 13. And then all you're going to do with your mouse is you're going to click the point in which the array is starting. So it's starting here, and it's going to this point. So what that's showing is you're taking this particular item from the farthest top point, and then you're going to be copying it here. So when I click there, what that does is it multiplied my parking spot 13 times with that spacing that I selected with my cursor. So it looks here, I have an extra one, I can delete the extra one that I don't need. Okay, um, So that's an easy way of making multiple. Um, again, if you do parking component, load family, go to site, parking, let's load in an island. Click open. So if you want some somewhere all the family files you selected, oh my. Okay, so in that case it might be a component. I wouldn't see why it's a component since it's in the parking, but we'll try it. So we're going to go to site, parking, there it is, open, there we go. So let's say if you want some type of divider or something like that, let's say I'm going to put this here and go into 3D view. We can see here we have our parking spots and then I believe it's over here is our little divider. Okay, so it automatically has some grass in there. And if you select it, I'm sure you can probably change the material. Um, we'll have to look into it more, but well, it looks like maybe you can. Yeah, okay. Well, either way, so here you have your little divider even has some grass on there but that is going to be how you set up your uh, parking lot um, so it will take some time to do that especially since you're going to have a large parking lot but it's relatively pretty simple because you can copy and paste um, but that is how you do your subregion and how you add in your parking components